Niswa salad. It's a classic. There are a million bastardized versions of it. I'm going to show you a quick and easy, healthy version that I love. Let me show you how we start this little journey off. I'm using red onion in a uh, Niswa salad, which is classic. I have got nothing with which to chop this onion. I would use my hand if I was fucking amazing, but I don't. Now that I've got a knife, cut it in half, and then we want to slice it as thinly as possible. Try not to cry. Red onions, love red wine vinegar. It does two things. One, it gives you a beautiful pickled onion, which is amazing. But the second and interesting thing it does is it removes that raw onion harshness. I don't know if you can hear in the background, but our neighbor got a power saw for his birthday or something like that. I don't think he's actually building anything. I think he's just playing with it. Set that to the side, and then we'll crack on with tomatoes and cucumbers. I kind of like it higgledy piggledy, right? Like just a bit random, you know what I mean? Is that a life philosophy as well, mate? <laughs> yeah, be as random as possible, as often as possible. No one will see you coming. It looks more like triangles, actually, now that I'm looking at it, but, you know. Next up, tomatoes. We're gonna do exactly the same thing with the tomatoes. Random. Cut some of them in half like that. Cut some of them in half the other way. Cut some of them on an angle. Do a couple of little rondelles. Look at that. Fancy, huh? When you're cutting baby tomatoes, what I've just noticed that I do is my pinky goes up and it's a sign of I don't know what that's a fucking sign of. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I can't stop it. Salt, plenty of it. Red wine vinegar again. Some extra virgin olive oil. And black pepper. What's gonna happen over the next few minutes as we're getting the rest of this salad ready, the salt draws the water out of the cucumber and the tomato, and that water from the tomato and cucumber joins the extra virgin olive oil and the red wine vinegar and makes the most delicious dressing. And that dressing is what sets this Niçoise salad apart. That is just gonna get sat aside for the moment while we make the beginning of the rest of the dressing. So, garlic, a little bit controversial in the old Niçoise salad. Make your Niçoise salad with a wooden bowl. Get your garlic and just rub your bowl. There is a reason behind this madness. I don't want a salad that is reeking of garlic. By rubbing the garlic around your bowl that you make your dressing in, it gives you just enough garlic to make it delicious and you know that it's there. We're gonna go in with red wine vinegar, some extra virgin olive oil, and some black pepper. Now, for the salt, a little bit of white soy sauce. You see me use this all the time. If you haven't got white soy in your pantry, get some, because I use a lot of it. Tip it out. Next things, radishes. It is essential that you put radish in a Caesar, in a Caesar, oh my God, in an Iswa salad. Radishes are part of a Caesar salad, okay? What am I talking about? A Niswa salad. Radishes. What salad? Niswa's. Far out. Slice it up, nice and thin. Oh, yum. Beans, let's cut them up into a more manageable size. One, two. Beautiful. Olives. Again, contentious. Some people are sort of all about green olives. For me, it's traditional. I'm going black olives. I'm kind of heavy on the olive sort of guy. And I'm going to add some of the olive brine. Tuna. I went and got myself some luxury bonito tuna. These are like big chunks of white tuna and it's great for a Niswa's salad. So I want to leave it as chunky as I can. I'm just going to very, very, very gently separate it a little bit. Basil. You need basil in your Niswa's. I am using a knife. I'm going straight through it. Just have it nice and rustic and rough. Butter lettuce. Not Coz, not Baby James, not Iceberg. Butter lettuce is what you need. A lot of people will tell you there is no lettuce in a Niswa salad. So, like I say, this is a bit of a contentious one, even putting lettuce in it. Okay, next up, egg. There has to be an egg. That's a hard, fast rule. I like my eggs soft boiled. 
soft boiled, fantastic. Cut them into quarters, a bit of seasoning on our eggs. We want to make them nice and salty. All right, let's revisit our onions now. Look how translucent and floppy and beautiful they look. That raw harshness of the onion is completely gone. So just gather them up in your hands and squeeze. The more vinegar you get out of there, the more of that raw onion taste will disappear as well. So make sure you give it a right good squeeze. It looks like a lot of onion, but trust me, it is absolutely delicious. Look how much liquid has come out of the tomatoes and the cucumber. And what is that? That's our dressing. So we mix that in along with the dressing that we made with that flash of garlic. And we're just gonna pour most of it into the bowl and fold it through. I wanna make sure that that dressing coats everything. The all important plating part, how do you make it look sensational? So for me, the lettuce is quite big and floppy and that would cover a lot of the beautiful parts. So in a way, my hands are sort of searching for those big bits of lettuce at the beginning and I wanna put them as the base. Then I'm gonna get some eggs. I just have them poking through. Now we'll go with a layer, the onions. Oh, look at that, big chunk of beautiful tuna. That is luxury. The rest of your dressing, pop it over the top. There you have it. That is the only tuna niçoise recipe you will ever need. Trust me, it is the most delicious one. You can pull that out any day of the week for the family, for friends, for a dinner party. No one's going to be complaining about that. Thanks for watching, and if you liked that, please click subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Also, if there's a recipe that you actually want to see me make, chuck it in the comments below and we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching.